How's it going everybody? Jared here for the Smoking Android once again. Here to bring you sort of a how to install Team Win Recovery Project Recovery on your Motorola Atrix. And in fact, this these methods should work on most Android devices. So we're going to show you three different ways on how to install this particular recovery on your device. So the first one, uh, now I'm going to be putting a link in the description below to my friend Atrix, I don't know how he wants me to pronounce this, um, it's actually Atrix spelled forwards and backwards all in one name, so it's Atrix Serta, <laughs> but I'll be posting a link in the description below to his thread, so again, thank you very much for him to uh, posting the thread in the development section for everybody's enjoyment, um, and in fact, the, f the first way I managed to flash this uh, recovery was through Fastboot, um, but he's nice enough to actually upload a dot .zip for us all, uh, he's got the 2.11 as as well as the 2.10 versions available. The differences are some slight um, sort of cosmetic looks and basically the main differences are the bottom soft touch buttons. So as you can see here we've got home menu which is actually a log for um, those of us with, that are developers out there, excluding me of course, and the back button right there. Uh, so <clears throat> what you're going to want to do obviously is push the zip file to your SD card. Now if you are, this is, this is just going to be for the dot zip installation of a recovery so we'll, we'll go over the fast boot um, and the other method after this one but uh, for those of you that will be downloading recoveries in a dot zip format um, obviously you're going to want to get that zip or file pushed to your SD card preferably your S external SD card and once you're in there you don't have to do any wiping or anything like that because you're not flashing a ROM there isn't going to be leftover data you're going to go ahead and select install we'll go ahead and locate it in our many many um, zip files that we have here and uh, we'll just go ahead and locate it and so as you can see there it is right there open recovery dash twrp dash 2.1.1 olympus signed so we'll go ahead and click on that and just flash it like you would anything and of course it'll be presented with some funky graphics there and that's it that was it and then all you have to do is either reboot recovery or reboot your device and and you should have your team win re uh, recovery project uh, all loaded up and ready to go so now let's take a look at if you have just a dot img or dot image file if you will uh, how to use fastboot which should be sort of a standard and everybody who's flashing roms and things like that should know how to use fastboot um, especially for those of you that want to know how to flash um, a recovery through fastboot which is a really really great method to do so let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that alright so obviously in order to get into fastboot what you're going to want to do is um, on the Motorola HX power button and volume down pressing and holding and you're continuing to hold now you'll notice fast boot pops up at this point you're going to use the volume up rocker to initiate now you'll notice this is starting fast boot protocol support so what we can then do now is plug in our device to our PC like so go ahead and give your computer just a few seconds to make sure that it recognizes and syncs up and everything like that and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our computer now and see what our commands are going to be all right, so first thing you're going to do after you plug it in, uh, plug, sorry, plug your device into your computer is uh, you're going to want to bring up your command prompt, okay? And this is where all of your fast boot stuff is going to happen. Now, uh, chances are if you have unlocked your bootloader, you probably have all of the fast boot files and everything like that uh, needed on your PC. But what you're going to want to do is make sure that the .image file or recovery file that you do have to flash is located in the same folder as those fast boot images. So if you just have it lying on your desktop, it's not going to work. At least it shouldn't work in my experiences. So you have to have your recovery file or any image that you're going to fast boot flash into your device located in the same folder as your fast boot uh, files. So. With all that said, uh, the commands to get into your fast boot and so on are going to go as follows. CD space C colon backslash and I have mine in root. So I'll put root, hit enter. We're now in that fast boot folder if you will. From there we're going to type in uh, sorry, fast boot space flash space recovery space and then whatever the name of the file is so for instance um, on my uh, previously before the thread uh, that I'll be linking to in the description below you know if again like you know if you, if you don't have a zip file um, it'll have 
a, a, a long string, like a long file name. So once you do that, and you type in your name, all you're going to do is hit the enter button, it'll flash your device, you'll see it pop up on the screen on your uh, of your device, and that'll be it. Then after that, all you're going to type in is, so for instance, I'll just back out of there, this is considering you've already flashed the um, recovery file, okay? Uh, you'll type in fast boot, and then reboot, and then hit enter. And as you'll see here, it'll start rebooting your device. All right, so we just got finished covering how to uh, install recovery using your fast boot. Now the next method we're going to use is using Goo Manager Beta. Uh, Goo Manager can be found on the Google Play Store. There's also a link in the thread. This is uh, this is Goo Manager Beta. You can download it from the Play Store, like I mentioned. So what you can go go ahead and do is press open and then from here what you're going to do is press the menu button a new uh, sort of this little pop up will happen here then you're going to click on install open recovery script as you can see right there we'll go ahead and click OK now it's going to say confirm recovery install are you sure you would like to do this this will download and write recovery image to your device now this is probably got to be the second easiest method or if not the easiest method considering um, the first method was just jumping in, you know, pushing the file to your SD card and uh, booting into recovery and then just flashing it and then you just reboot and that's it. This, you don't even have to reboot your device, it just installs it all while it's on and then I think I might end up rebooting after but we'll take a look right now. Uh, so confirm download, reboot and install. Are you sure you would like to do this? By clicking yes, the recovery will download and install. Your device may reboot in the process and as you can see it's the latest um, uh, recovery project version 2.1.1. Now I'm not going to click yes because then I'll have to go through the whole thing all over again. You guys know exactly what will happen if I click yes. It'll just install the recovery. And that's basically it guys. That, that's, all it's, that's all it takes to install this. Now I strongly recommend using TeamWin Recovery Project. Um, I know there's others out there like Clockwork Mod Recovery. Uh, in terms of um, sort of touch style recoveries, Team Win Project is um, uh, the best. It makes Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery look like a retarded redheaded stepchild. Um, so that's, you know, if that gives you any indication there of my feelings towards it. Uh, you know, and then of course we've got ROM Race, and ROM Race is still the sort of binary looking analog, if you will. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it analog. Um, you know, the old analog way of uh, using recovery. So um, Team Run Recovery Project has everything you need. You can mount everything. You, it's got a, a built in file manager, um, all kinds of stuff. It's really easy to use. It's quick, does great backups, everything. Um, so so if you're not using Team Win Recovery Project, I don't know why you aren't. You really should be using it. Uh, but anyways, guys, that is it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And make sure you um, share with all your friends on uh, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, you can do that by just clicking the share button down below and uh, kind of sharing it with your friends and all that stuff. But anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, again, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this one in the future. And until next time, the Smoking Android signing out. Peace.